Hello children, uh, good morning and welcome to the cafe. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, the cafe is a children's group at Cockermouth uh, King's Church and uh, today we're just going to be doing a little interview with Daniel and Katie. Um, and the first thing I want to say uh, that uh, I want to say about these two before we begin the chat is that they are homegrown. They grew up in Cockermouth and they went to schools in Cockermouth. They've even got the t-shirts to show you. So Dan, what you got there? It's my Fairfield Junior School t-shirt, which is from before it was Fairfield Primary School. That's how long ago I was there. <laughs> Um, this is also my Fairfield Junior School t-shirt. This was signed on the day that I left Fairfield School to go to Cockermouth School. So Katie, what was your favourite thing about Fairfield School? Um, I think my favourite thing was probably lunchtime. Um, yes, we did fun stuff in lessons, but I just loved going outside and playing on the playground and just being my friends. We had some great games that we did as a friendship group and I just loved going out and letting off steam um, and then I was ready to get back in the classroom. And Daniel, what was your scariest thing about going to school in Cockermouth? Well, I think it would probably be my first day at Cockermouth Secondary School. It's a much bigger school than Fairfield Junior School was, so it's quite scary walking in on the first day and seeing all the other people in my year group from different primary schools. So Katie, you've recently returned from a wilderness expedition with Burr Grills. Oh, not Burr Grills, Burr Oven Hop. And uh, that must have been pretty exhilarating, but also pretty scary, I guess. So <laughs> yeah. tell us a little bit about that, please. Yeah, that was a really scary experience. Um, so we went on this expedition with Burr Oven Hop. Um, we even did some abseiling, um, we saw some really scary animals, um, it was just a really fun but also quite scary experience. So tell me, what was the point of the expedition? Um, so the point of the expedition was because we really wanted to show you guys how to pray. Um, so you can really look at the Lord's Prayer, which is what Jesus says to the disciples when they ask him, how do you pray? And you can see it as a map and with tick off points like we did when we were on our expedition. So we had our map and we looked at the different takeoff points around that um, journey. Um, so this week we're gonna be focusing on the first part of that and that's the part where Jesus says, our Father. And this is a really personal part of prayer. This is the point where we come into a place where we can really be intimate with God and we can really say, our Father and our Dad, if you like, that's probably a better way of saying it, um, our Dad, and then you can continue your prayer and that's just a place where you can just really hang out with God and you can really just bring um, what you want to say to him. So elsewhere in the Bible, in, in Matthew, in chapter 6 and verse 6, um, Jesus says, when you pray, but when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. Okay. So, you know, Katie, you've just said it's easy, uh, that we need to hang out with God and enjoy his presence and enjoy being with him um, and spend time with him. But actually, what does that look like in practice? You know, you know, it's easy to say, but maybe it's harder to do. So, Dan, let me ask you that question. How do you hang out with God? You know, what does it look like for you? So, I think the way that I started to hang out with God was not treating him like uh, someone that I just brought my shopping list of requests to, of things that I wanted to happen, but actually treat him um, as a friend. Um, because when you know God, it's a relationship with him. So the way that I spend time with him is pretty much what the Bible verse just said. I go into my room, I shut the door, and I um, spend some time in the Bible, I just spend some time just uh, waiting for God's presence to come and I just chat to him and I listen to what he has to say and I bring things that I want to ask him to do as well. And how old do you think you would have been when you first started to do that? What, when was the change? Were you an older teenager or were you at Fairfield Junior School or, or when? I think probably as I went through secondary school I started to um, understand more the difference between just asking God for things and treating him more um, as a friend and someone that um, I needed to bring more to than just my requests. 
Yeah, and, and did you always think that God was there? Did you know he was there as your friend or was that something that was a, a, a kind of a discovery for you? I think I've always known that um, God was there, but certainly feel like I've got a lot closer to him as time's gone by. Okay, cool. And uh, Katie, do you uh, have the same kind of place that you meet with God or is it different for you? I'd say it's definitely different um, for me. So the way that God meets with Daniel isn't necessarily going to be the way that God meets with me. So I'd say one thing that I've really grown in a lot, probably in the last few years, is God not being a time of just the quiet time when I'm in my room, but actually a God that I can go to at whatever point in the day that I'm in. Um, so that can actually just be that constant chat with God. So it might be that I'm walking to school or now I'm walking to university. And actually that's just a point where I can actually just have a chat with God and talk to him about my day, what that looks like, and just have a really good relationship with him in that. Um, and just also doing other things. So if I'm washing up, um, I might just put some worship music on and be singing along to it. And that's just a time when I can just really spend with God and just be more listening to actually what God's saying in the moment rather than like Dan was saying bring a list of requests to him it's much more actually just listening in and tuning into what God's saying yeah I, I think that that's really really true that it's different for, for all of us in terms of personal prayer and and getting to know God and, and where we really feel at ease with him and we really like to hang out with him so for me I, I find that you know if I'm out running I can just somehow, there's something special about that, that I can just tune in to God and pray really easily, you know, without formality and just enjoy his presence and enjoy um, chatting to him and actually hearing what he's saying sometimes as well. Um, so that, that, that's so true. Um, so, so children, this week, why don't you find, think about what your special place is to meet with God personally and just to know him, enjoy him and hang out with him. Um, anyway, finally for this week, Katie, have you got any more expeditions planned with Bear Oven Hob? Yeah, we actually do. So this week we've got some super exciting stuff coming up. Um, so with Bear Oven Hob, I'm going to be paddling down a wild river. So you can all get excited for that and make sure you tune in. And also going on a wilderness wild camp. Um, so we're going to go out into the wilderness. We're going to put up a tent and we're just going to have some fun. Um, but I'm also expecting that to probably be a, bit, be a bit scary as well, especially if the weather's bad. OK, well, that's cool. <laughs> hey, it's been really great meeting with you. Have a great day and enjoy finding your special place uh, with God this week. Bye. Bye. Bye.